seven seasons, over a hundred some odd episodes, and it's coming to a close. And you still love Olivia. I you still can't love shake Olivia. her. How can you not? I mean, come on. But it's, you know, I, after, <laughs> it is Kerry Washington after all. It is Kerry Washington. And I know a lot of fans out there, you guys are kind of like each other's Achilles heels. That's right. That's a good way to describe it. Right? Yeah. Is it, is it true love? Or you only have two more episodes to get this figured out. You can't leave us hanging. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea. I, we are now filming the second to last episode, mm -hmm. and none of us have a clue what Shonda's going to do at the end. Seriously? No idea. No idea. So I don't know how it's going to end up. But I know where Fitz, my character, is at. He's still in love with Olivia and won't give up. So we'll see. Well, hopefully. He's really trying to redeem her because his. Scandal fans know Olivia has gone pretty dark. She's gone pretty dark, and you've gone, uh, you know, you've taken on more of the Melly role in the fact that you do charity now. You're kind of lost. A little bit lost trying to do the right thing, you know, trying to redeem all of my uh, profound sins. From the past. From the past, yeah. Fitz has been a, a bad boy. Well, now we see tonight, you direct tonight's episode, mm -hmm. and the last time we saw Olivia, she got confronted by her whole team. To say, you know, what in the world is she doing and is she resigning? And so where do you think this is going to go with Olivia? Is she going to turn a leaf or come back to Fitz? Is Fitz, Fitz going to save her? Is basically going to make F her good Fitz again? Is, Fitz is trying to, uh, is going to try, has been all season trying to bring Olivia back from the dark side. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, she, you know, she's not, she's not a, a person who likes to be saved. So she's got to save herself, really. Oh, you sound uh, so, so philosophical. But this philosophical. one is a crossover episode mm -hmm. between uh, How to Get Away with Murder, starring Viola Davis, and Scandal. So there will be, and it's not, it's, um, it's Thursday night. So, um, so we start, you know, uh, with uh, the How to Get Away with Murder story coming into Scandal. And then it weaves into a, an episode of How to Get Away with Murder right after it in which Scandal joins How to Get Away with Murmur. So it's really cool. And how do you do that directing-wise, <clears> though? Is that a challenge? Are you working with a different director on that show? And how to tr cross yeah, over? I just directed the Yeah, I just directed the Scandal, scandal. one, and someone else directed the, the murder episode. Mm -hmm. And I just um, I had to, you know, binge watch a lot of How to Get Away with Murder <laughs> and make sure I was on top of the story before, because uh, they have, what, they're in their fourth season, I think. Their fourth season, but Viola Davis, I mean, come on. Yeah. I mean, she's was, pretty amazing, too. That was amazing. Yeah, that was, that was when Shonda asked me to direct it, I, I thought well, that was exciting, because Viola is truly one of the greats. And How she's many just have an you directed person. now? How many episodes? You've I directed a lot. around ten. I do like two a year. You do two a year. So, yeah, it's been about ten, I think. And so now, for you, this is seven seasons, mm -hmm. and you said something earlier before we came back on the air. You said Shonda ended, and I said, were you sad? Like a lot of people, yeah. this is your identity, but there's more to you, obviously. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. We'll find out. I hope um. so. <laughs> no, there are, but this is, no, you is know, we're as really, a fan, I'm sad. Yeah, no, it's sad. I mean, it's, it's, I'm grateful because Shonda called us a year ago and said, guys, look, I've decided that it's going to end after next year. So we've had a whole year to kind of get used to it, and it's a very purposeful ending as opposed to kind of just waiting until the ratings die. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the right thing, but we're really a close group. Um, so we're all set. It's like where we say it's like senior year of high school, you know. Do you guys really all hang out together? Yeah, we and do. And like tweet and talk and text and all we that do. kind of stuff? We do. We're really good friends. It's, you know, it's, a, it's an extraordinary group. Uh, there are no... No divas, even though I tease Carrie Washington about being one. Um, uh, yeah, it's just great. It's just an incredible. Well, group. the chemistry is palpable. I mean, mm -hmm. between the two of you, and so you know, this kind of uh, the evolution of you two as a couple for the past seven seasons has been quite amazing. But I'm going to put you to the test here. Okay. Do you mind? Because I, you know, we didn't tell him we were going to do this. We're going to test you on your knowledge of whether this is presidential Fitzger President Fitzgerald. Or which president said these quotes? Are you okay. ready for this? All right. Are you ready in the control room? All right. Quote number one: I've looked at a lot. I've looked on a lot of women with lust. I've committed adultery in my heart many times. That is not Fitz. Not Fitz. Any idea of what mm. president that might be? Mm. I don't know who that is, but I could guess. Give me a guess. Um. Uh. It sounds something like it's not LBJ, is it? No. No. Who is it? Jimmy Carter. What? Yes, that's what I said, right? Wow. The peanut president. I was a little shocked by that one. I don't know what Roslyn thought about that one. Jeez, okay. <laughs> well, he was thinking about her in his mind in, in Georgia. <laughs> um, Georgia on her, his mind. All right, what, okay, here's the second quote. What struck me about her, her beauty, her sheer beauty, and her dress, she had in a green and red dress, spectac spectacularly beautiful woman. We said hi. Not me, not Fitz. <laughs> we said hi. Uh, 
Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, George H. W. Bush. Okay, that sounds Bush. That I sounds it was, like kind of innocuous. I thought it was Trump trying to be understated. <laughs> okay. We got, we got, it is a little understatement. We got two more. Ready? Politic gives guys so much power that they tend to behave badly around women, and I hope I never get into that. No. That wasn't me. <laughs> either. I never get into that. Um, Terrible grammar, first of all. Yeah, yes. right, exactly. <laughs> um, B B w? Oh, Bill Clinton. Mm. Oh, I don't even, I don't <laughs> want to, let's just keep moving. Let's keep moving. Second to last one. I love women. They've come into my life. They've gone out of my life. Even those who have exited somewhat ungracefully still have a place in my heart. Again, not Fitzgerald Grant. Mm -hmm. but, oh, I don't know who. Donald Trump. Of course he would say that. All right. Yeah. And last but not least... You're the most important person in my life. I just, I can't just stop. That was Fitz. Can you? That was Fitz. Look at, he knew that. Yeah. He that knew that. It was Fitz. In front of the desk in the Oval Office. You know what? When we did that. Like oh. season two, I think. Jeez. And that was a great scene. Mm -hmm. And I remember it right here. That was. Wasn't All there right. a section? Uh, yeah, yeah, there was. There was a lot. Um, <laughs> congratulations. Crossover. You guys can catch Scandal. It airs Thursday night at 9 on ABC. The crossover mm -hmm. with How yeah. to Get Away with Murder. It's been an honor to meet you, Mr. President. So fun meeting you. All yeah, right. Thanks. Thank you so much. Take it away, Rita.